In this quick trick video, I'm going to be looking at transient shaping and how we can shape our sound and make those transients, the initial hits, really come through in the mix. Now, this audio effect rack is going to be for free by donation on my website, subaqueousmusic.com. Just follow the link in the description. And yeah, let's go ahead and look at this audio effect rack in Ableton Live. So first, let's hear the track so we know what we're working with. It's good, but I'm having a little trouble with that kick coming through the mix. So we're going to solo that and hear it. Now, if you're over computer speakers, headphones, or not the best speakers, you might not even be able to hear this kick. And that is exactly the problem I'm having. I want it to come out a little bit more, be a little bit more punchy. Now you can do this with, right now I'm using a MIDI track that has a kick synthesizer, but you can do this with samples or anything. And I have this audio effect rack that I built. So I'm gonna turn that on. The first setting we wanna look at is the threshold, which helps us see this line here. And we wanna make sure that it's basically about when it initial hit happens. We don't want a lot of this tail end down at the bottom to bring it all the way down. We want just that kind of initial hit. Once we have that, our transient gain, this brings up that initial transient. Now how I'm doing that is by setting this compressor as expand. So expand means when it's, when it's above this threshold, it begins to push the sound, making it louder as compared to pushing it down and make it quieter. It's a different way of using a compressor. So now we can see this line up there pushing up that sound, so we're getting more of that transient. And then I also have a release, which is how long after that transient does it kind of slide back down. I want that somewhere in the middle. So already we're starting to get more of a click sound out of this, which is exactly what I want. But I've added another technique to this to really bring out the, the qualities that I want from this kick. And that is right down here. So with these three, we have a crossover. I'm gonna open up this audio effect rack. So we have this crossover, which basically I have two different chains. I have a mid-high and a low, and I'm using a multi-band right here. And this amount on the low, which is mapped to both of them, is what's being used as a crossover. So I have a really clear way of separating if anything is under 143 hertz, we see right here on the knob, then it's not affected, and anything above that is. And I can move that so now everything around 300 and below is not being affected and everything above is being affected. There's a really specific reason why I'm doing that. So I have this little crossover here, and then on the mid-high, I have some saturator and some reverb. So what happens is, now that I have it about here, the 148, everything above that is being affected. And then I have this drive amount for the saturator. And what that means is we're just driving the top end, we're not driving the bottom. So if I move this, that's doing the whole sound, but I just want kind of the top end of that kick. And then I can even change the distortion type to make it come through the mix a little more. Now let's hear that in context. I'm gonna turn it off now. You can tell it's coming through a lot more with this transient shaper on, so I'm gonna turn it on. Now this is a subtle effect, but really important in mixing to slightly bring out the element that you want without drastically changing the volume or doing some crazy EQing. This is just bringing up that initial transient, that initial hit to make it pierce through the mix a little bit better. And there you go. That is the Transient Shaper. This is a free by donation download at subaqueousmusic.com. Very easy to use. 
helps your kick punch through the mix and check it out for free and check out subaqueousmusic.com. I have over 200 free articles, tons of resources on there, as well as live packs, templates for sale and stuff like that. So check it out.